One night, while walking home, it started raining. Just what I needed, I thought to myself. I had no umbrella and I was in the middle of a road that crosses a forest. With no place to cover, I decided to keep walking and wait for a car to pass and maybe hitchhike. Around 10 minutes later, I started listening to a car approaching from behind. I looked back and the car stopped by my side. Slowly, the car window opens and I could see a man inside. It was dark so I couldn't see his face. I heard the man ask, do you need a ride son? I told him yes please because there's no way I was going to keep walking in this rain. This guy looked like an old man. He was skinny with a wrinkly face. He didn't look dangerous at all. He actually seemed nice. We did some small talk until I was reaching my destination. I told the guy to drop me here and I could walk the rest. The rain had stopped by now. The guy said nothing, so I repeated again. You can drop me here. He says, no, 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 not yet. You're not ready. What? I thought to myself, I'm not ready for what? I was getting nervous, so I tried one more time. Please, sir, let me out here. He looks at me with his eyes wide open. Now I can see his face. The guy looked old and his face was wrinkled with sharp teeth and he said, I said no. I felt sick and I thought I was going to throw up. I was stuck there with that guy. I thought my only way out would be to open the door. I try opening the door but it was locked and I am in full panic by now. I feel a weakness going through my body as I feel myself pass out. Finally, my eyes close and everything goes black. I woke up in the bed. I look around and it looks like a shack. The place looks trashed and smells terrible. At the side of the bed, I see some basic medical equipment. I listen to footsteps outside near the door. Without having a lot of time, I pretend I am still knocked out and I wait. I don't keep my eyes shut. I leave a small opening. I wanted to see who was coming. The door opens. I see someone. I keep opening and closing my eyes very little to make sure he doesn't see I am watching him. He reaches my side of the bed. He turns to the other side and starts picking up the medical tools. What is he going to do to me, I thought. With very little time to make a decision, I needed to do something quick or God knows what will happen. I gain courage and I slowly get up. I started running to the door. While I was reaching to the door, I took a glimpse on the right and there was an open door. Inside is an image that I would never forget. I saw a body of some random person and I wanted to throw up, but right now, I needed to escape. I opened the door and I ran through the woods. It was very dark. I couldn't see where I was going, but I didn't care. I just needed to be far away from that place. Finally, I arrived at the main road and I kept running. I found an open diner. I went inside and used their phone to call the cops. I gave the police a report of what happened. Then they took me safely home. A few months later, I saw on TV that the fugitive from an asylum was caught. He was living in a cabin in the woods. It was the same guy that kidnapped me. Suddenly, I had the same feeling from that night. But at least the guy had been caught. Never again in my life have I hitchhiked.